Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty, Scra Me Crafty Scrapper <laughs> Creates. Uh, so tongue-tied and so overwhelmed. It has been, what, 11, 12 days since I made a video and I'll just give you a brief, I'll try to keep it brief, um, family update synopsis of sorts. Um, Brandon's uh, 90 year old grandmother did um, pass away and um, we had her homegoing service last week and um, then a few other things were happening that we needed to take care of and then we had to go to Ohio for singings. Um, we had three different ones this past weekend and it's just been a whirlwind trying to get ready for that and then her passing and um, you know family time and things like that. Um, Mom and Alicia, my sister, and her family were um, going on vacation together also uh, last week and last weekend, not like yesterday, not but weekend before this last one. <laughs> I'll get all my words out in a minute, y'all. Um, so I had to work more in the shop to help out with packages and getting orders out too. We have not had uh, scoops, mystery scoops, or super duper mystery boxes up on the website in about three weeks now, just because there's been so much going on. Um, Brandon has been had been spending a lot of time at the hospital um, with me, Mama Jackson, um, being in ICU for so very long. And um, so anyways, yeah, it's been very, very, very overwhelming um, here lately. And um, I know that all y'all understand that and you give me grace. I know. I just need to give myself some grace. I know that too. Um, what else? Uh, Aaron had his 23rd birthday and so many of you have um, sent cards and notes and letters to him and I appreciate that so much. Y'all are so sweet um, to do that and he actually got, I'm thinking over 65, maybe with the um, cards he picks up today at mom's, it's probably going to be over 80 now, birthday cards in the mail. That's just craziness, but that's one of his favorite things. He loves getting cards, and he does not throw them away. They stay in his room on his bookcase, and he goes through them, and he rereads them over and over and over again, and they will eventually go in a box that will have um, my 23rd birthday on top of it, and he will keep all of them. I'm telling y'all, he does not throw them away. <laughs> um and he loves just the card, but then there's been some people that have sent him uh, gift cards and things like that. Totally unnecessary, but when he opened the cards, he was like, oh my goodness, look, 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 there's something extra in here, you know. So, uh, both of our children have always been very appreciative of any and everything that they get. Um, didn't matter at Christmas if they opened up a present that was underwear. Oh, I needed these. Thank you so much. They have never been the ones that go, I cannot believe you got me that. I cannot. They've never been like that. They've never been ungrateful um, that I can recall. And I'm not bragging on us, but I am bragging on my children and, and you know, their, their attitudes toward things. So anyway, thank you so much for sending uh, him gifts and cards that has been so precious. Uh, Bethany's birthday, um, her 19th birthday is in August, and so she's going to be expecting a few things too, y'all. <laughs> just saying. I wanted to um, go over just a few things um, as far as our shop goes, and then uh, we have a little urgent issue that I want to take care of, and I want y'all to help me with, and um, show you Kara Brandon's newest tag kit 
and then we're going to get started working on the June e-club kit. I'm so behind on projects. My craft room is atrocious, I'm just saying, um, and piled high of things that I need to take care of. It's crazy, but and yes, I am very overwhelmed, but I will take it slowly, and we're going to get to it, and no problems. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for being here. I promise you, I'm usually more put together. I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't know. Yeah, I am. Um, I, I'm more put together usually, but there's been a lot of personal family issues going on, and um, we are slowly getting past that, and um, uh, still in grief, but um, the Lord is our helper, and we will get through this. This too shall pass. Um, if you are into the Tim Holtz Oxides, uh, we have a new to our shop, uh, two colors, and that is the Evergreen Bow and Bundled Sage. So, I mean, it's really a nice sagey green. It's beautiful. And then this Evergreen Bow is not as um, blue as it's showing on screen. It's more... Um, like a um, light teal green and it's gorgeous. We also have the sprays for both of them and the re-inkers for both of them. So if you do not have those two oxide colors in your arsenal, you need those. They're gorgeous. Love, love, love them. Um, we also got some, some more of the Snap albums from Simple Stories. A couple of videos back, y'all saw me using this one as my large ephemera holder album. I love using it like that. I still got to add more large ephemera that I've got. And I'll be using uh, some of this when I um, get in front of the TV this evening. I'll cut apart some of this. This is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And if you have not heard uh, what's going on with her. I will link her um, family or life update video in the description box below and I, I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Anyway, we have this um, new Snap album. This is more vintage style, but then we also have more of the teal. We have lime green. So instead of uh, this color spine, it's lime green. We have a blush pink, so a very light pink. Um, we have that coral, the black, and navy. We also have navy. So we restocked the Snap album. So y'all go over there, uh, scrapbookingwithme.com, and take advantage of that and pick those up. I wanted to show you in this vintage one, if y'all like these, if you sell me out on these, I will um, reorder. But the vintage ones are super duper cute, and they have different um, organizers inside of them than the others. So I'm just going to, this one's mine, so I'm just going to tear that off and show you on the inside. Look at that, because so it's like kind of like ledger, book, paper, whatever, on the inside. It's got the same kind of binding as the other ones. Um, these actually might be, yes, they are. Look, those rings are bigger than these rings. So they have a bigger ring, um, so more capacity can fit into the vintage one. Um, it's got a bingo card in it, and then it's double-sided. Um, it's got this other divider here, and these are not as thick as in the um, original snaps. Look at that. Double-sided, beautiful stuff. Use them as is or decorate them up more if you want to. But these are so pretty. Let me get it moved over. With the bigger rings, I'm just having to make sure that I don't tear anything and move it too quickly. So tell your story. Um, lots of journaling space or you can cover it up with a picture. I love that they have the smaller little divider and then they have a bigger one. Smaller and bigger. Very pretty. Very vintage. Look at this one. That's like very authentic looking, but it's totally flat. 
no dimension to it at all and so pretty look at that it's got a pocket page in it great for us vintage lovers and then it has I'm pretty sure it's 10 I should have kept the little thing one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ten um, refillable pages in it and then we have the variety packs in the shop where you can buy them and you could probably get oh, I'd say probably four or five of those refillable variety packs in this one because the rings are so big but I love that it does have a wider spine than the others that we have so see look that is a let's do comparison on these this one is a two inch spine so that's going to be on the all of those originals. The vintage one actually has a two and three quarter inch spine on it. So lots wider so you can fit lots more stuff in it. This would be great as an ephemera holder or as a vintage scrapbook. Um, decorate here on the outside with something nice and vintage some fabric or something and you could even put pockets on the inside and add as many of these pages as you wanted to or you don't even have to buy refillable pages you don't even have to use these in this one you can just make your own pages and add to this I love the vintage one so yeah I got myself one of those so we have those in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com so make sure to get over there and grab yours um mom had done mom is uh e with scrapbookingwithme.com uh, with the, <laughs> with scrapbooking with me crafts over on you um her youtube channel had done a video a few days ago about uh tina at shabby dabby doodah she is going through lots of stuff and uh, we love the crafty youtube community so much they support each other so well and i believe we totally need to be supporting tina um she needs it desperately right now so um, I picked these up off of her um, website. I will link everything in the description box below. Um, this is one of her freebies off of her website. Um, and I know what you're saying. Well, Melina, that, that doesn't help her out at all. You got it for free. Um, I went over to her coffee website, K-O-F-I website, and I donated. I'm, I'm, I'm not just buying her one coffee. One coffee is like, oh, thanks so much. But, you know, she needs like a thousand coffees, even more than that, y'all. We need to help her out. Um, and that website, the KO-FI website, does not take out fees. So whatever you donate to her, she's going to get. So remember that. I went over and donated to that website for her. Um, she is in the UK, so if you're not in the UK, um, there is like a um, money, whatever, exchange rate, all that kind of stuff. So it will be different as to whatever you put in the little box, but don't worry about it. Just donate to her. She needs it. She needs our prayers. And um, these freebies are gorgeous. She also has a beautiful, beautiful etsy shop now i have her etsy shop pulled up on my phone and oh my camera does wacko things to electronics so this all looks purple it's not purple um shabby dabby doodah on etsy and she has some of the most gorgeous y'all don't even don't even feel like that this is purple it's not i'm gonna pull this down and see if it looks better it sure does even though it's dark it is not purple all this is looking purple it's not she has some of the most gorgeous kits on her etsy shop and she is so inexpensive dollar 85 dollar 95 a dollar 45 220 a dollar 75 
I mean, I think maybe the most expensive thing she's got on here. Let's go up and let's figure that out. Uh, highest price. $9.99 is her highest price kit on her Etsy. So y'all go over and support her on her Etsy. Then I also have her Kofi <laughs> website pulled up. You just click donate and it pulls up a box just like on my buy me a coffee website. Maybe I need to get me a Kofi website since they don't take out fees and buy, uh, buy me a coffee does take out fees. Anyway, click on donate. You put in how much it is and then it sends you to your PayPal or put in a credit card or whatever. And um, that's another great thing about this website. It still takes PayPal. Buy me a coffee does not. Anyway, go over, donate to Tina. She needs our help. And um, she needs help keeping her home that she and her babies are living in. And um, her soon-to-be ex-husband needs lots and lots of prayers. And I will not put my foot in my mouth any more than that. I'll hush about that right now. But this is, like I said, one of her freebies. Um, she also has uh, digital kits on her coffee website. So y'all take advantage of that. Um, go over to her YouTube channel. Like I said, I'll have everything listed below. Go over to her YouTube channel and just watch her videos over and over and over and over. Just let them play. Go do housework and let them play. Or watch them and craft along with her. She is great. She usually does a video every single day of the week. But right now, with her lawyers, the fees, all of that stuff, she's got to do all kinds of paperwork. She's in court like once a month for the rest of the year. So just please go and support Tina. Please, please, please. This is gorgeous. Now, I put these to the back because my printer was running out of ink. You can see the little purple spot there. But these are not, these do not have any purple in them. Your printer will do much better. Okay, anyway, that is Tina with Shabby Dabby Doodah. I know that most, like 99% of my subscribers and followers here on YouTube also watch her. This is Kara Brandon Creations. Kara Brandon is on our design team at scrapbookingwithme.com and she comes out with the cutest tag kits every month and this one is um, like 4th of July themed but patriotic themed. They're gorgeous. They can be used for Flag Day, Canada Day. They can be, I mean, it's, there's endless possibilities. It's, so it's not just a U.S. themed um, kit. It's just gorgeous. And it's all vintage. Look at that. How cute. Look at that. I mean, she comes up with some of the cutest designs with her tag kits every month. So all of the little emblems and icons and things like that are vintage, but then the colors are more vibrant. So that gives you a little bit of a variety with this uh, tag kit. So y'all go over and snag this kit from Kara Brandon. So, so adorable. I love it. Love all the vintage things on there. This is, um, I think, the latest. Uh, right before Mom went on vacation, this was the latest uh, digital kit that we have in our shop at scrapbookingwithme.com and um, she put a lighthouse in there. Uh, I know that she's done her video about uh, they went to St. Augustine, Florida and she climbed a lighthouse and it was just gorgeous. And um, for anybody that does not know, my daddy passed last September and mom has really not been anywhere yeah, she's not been anywhere since dad passed. So this was a huge deal for her to go on vacation with my sister and her family. So um, we're very proud of her. And uh, this kit was just a, an, um, what is that? 
homage to <laughs> she was about to go see a lighthouse in St. Augustine. So um, she come up with this. And this kit is purple. It does have purple in it. It's got lots of script in it too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And speaking of my sister and her family, her stepson Jay is married and um, has a stepson and then has a biolog biological son with her, with his wife. And <laughs> then um, today, today, um, what is today's day? Today is the 27th of June. They just had, she just gave birth to their darling little baby girl. And so there is their girl. They have three children now, and this one is a girl. So we are super duper excited about that. And I just really think that mom did an excellent job with this. And congratulations to Jay and Sarah Terry, my nephew and niece. And now I have great nephews and a great niece. So that's very exciting. All right, June E Club kit. Um, if you get this every month, you know how spectacular these are. But I am not going to go away without saying, first and foremost, you get your kit in this mesh bag and it is waterproof and reusable. So you've seen um, mom do a few videos about what she stores in these. You can store your digital kits in these. They are see-through so you can see what you store and just like that kit I just showed you, I can put that lavender kit right down in there fits perfectly and I can see what's in there put it on my bookshelf and come back to it later if I want to so each month they come in the reusable waterproof bags um, for the June kit you get some lace and I really love that lace beautiful stuff we are using the Prima the plant department is our theme and our paper that we're using you get a whole die cut pack you get a whole pack look how thick you get a whole pack of tags and tickets uh same the plant whatever department <laughs> and then let me get my sticky scissors and i'll show you this paper and i believe we have maybe two or three of these left over but not a lot once Betty Ann Renfro did her video on this a couple of weeks ago, it was like boom, 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 boom. We were getting orders in the shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Betty Ann. My unlogical sister. Because everybody loved your project and they loved this kit. So we've got um, fussy cutting pieces in the back. And it is double-sided. And it's just gorgeous paper. Gorgeous paper. And then you get three mini um, book rings. Gorgeous. And then you get a whole pack of pearls. And they already have adhesive on the back. You get some of these um, clips that you can use over and over and over again in your scrap space. You've got little um, tag corners or they can be put on the edge here like this and you can highlight something on your page if you want to. Beautiful. Those are metal. You get one of these envelopes. Great for making pockets in journals. You get this, and this is a this is a high quality thing, and it's from Zig. So if you know know it's from Zig, it's going to be a great product. And this is the two way glue pen. So you just squeeze and roll on your adhesive. I love these things. 
Um, and we had extras of these left over and you guys uh, sold us out of those. So I'm actually getting more of these so that y'all can have these. We can um, have them in the shop. Then you get two pieces of cardstock and it's Caribbean Breeze and Almond Cream. It goes right along with all of the stuff from Prima and uh, mom did a video not too long ago about e-club kit and an extra surprise that she's adding to the e-club kits now and it is digitals so this digital goes along with this e-club kit so you see all of this in here it's got the gates and the ivy and the cherry blossom trees and things like that this is the digital kit that mom made to go right along with the eclo kit look at that y'all okay you fold it in half look how gorgeous of a journal page that makes that's probably my favorite sheet but we have sheets for journals look at that how pretty so beautiful and then you have pockets and more pockets and then tickets and then tags and labels mom went all out with this being her first extra digital kit that goes along with our june e-club kit i'm so excited to make something I'm going to start by getting some of the cardstock, one of the sheets of cardstock. And that's usually how I start off my e club kit, is with that cardstock. I love the addition of that because it gives you a sturdy base to um, make whatever you're wanting to make. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to give myself about a half inch spine for this. This is going to be a base for a little album. And um, I've got, what, just a little over 11 inches. I want to have a fold over on the front. So I'm going to go, just go with 10 inches here. And that's going to be my fold over. So I'm working with 10 inches. And what I will do is put my spine so I'm going to do um, score line at four and three fourths and then five and one fourth so on your piece of cardstock you're going to score it at four and three fourths and then you're going to score it at five and one fourth and then you're going to score it at 10. Okay. So then you're going to fold over all your lines, all your little folds, your scores. And fold this one frontwards and make sure it's straight and use my bone folder wherever it is. There we go. Okay, and that is totally not straight. But it lines up, so I don't know what else to do with that one. You know what? We're not perfect whenever we, even when we got a score line, our folds are still not perfect. We just have to live as humans, you know? All right, so then there is my spine. And I gotta figure out, will I need to? No, I won't have to. Okay, so there is kinda like what you got so far. You got this fold over. It looks fine on the outside. I don't know why I thought that looked crooked. Okay, so there's what we got. There's our base. Then I covered the outside of the base, just that cardstock base we just folded. I 
covered that in one of the digitals that mom made for us and then I put a little bit of lace there on my flap and I also put uh, one of the tags from the tag pack on here I put a die cut on top of there adhered it here and then I put one of the tickets with one of our thin magnets we sell those in the shop also back behind that and then I double sided this tag and put a magnet in there and so then that is my closure for this piece I thought that was very nifty there to make a magnet closure with one of the tags and it's in between my beautiful um, things that's on the papers and then the inside also did another one of the digital uh, sheets just covered the inside and you can tell that my liquid glue is still wet and you can see liquid glue there a little bit too I don't care about that not a big deal to me so then in the middle here I'm going to put a couple of sheets of coffee dyed paper and then I'm also going to put this after I decorate it whoop, and fold it correctly. Me and those fold lines don't get along here lately. There we go. I'm going to fold this in half. And this is going to go inside of my little journal and it's going to be a pocket in there so I'm just going to put maybe I don't know four sheets maybe of um, paper in here so let me just figure out where my papers are and what I'm going to put in there all right here are my papers I want to fold them in half. I know that I will probably need to trim off the ends, probably. And I'm not going to make that my center. I'm going to put that here and then those there. I'll figure out something else to put as my center. I'm going to be sewing these in here. So yeah, I need to trim them down to this measurement. So that is four and three quarters. So just under four and three quarters is what I will trim these to fit in my little booklet. And then when I cut these down, look, how perfect that is but I am going to trim off this end so it's open for me just a little tiny sliver off of that so I've got an open end here for a pocket and I'm going to leave that flap I do believe I think so do I want to yeah I'm going to leave that flap Kind of sit and think about that for just a second. Okay, put that in there, and then my other two pages there. And I'm done. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to um, trim off the height just a smidge. So see, we've got our papers back there behind that. I don't know. Yeah, they're fine. I don't have to. Okay, so there is our booklet already our little mini album or slim journal whatever we're wanting to call it it's already filling up I love that and what I'm going to do is decorate this pocket this envelope first then add it in there figure out what I want to put as my center of that signature all right so I've changed my mind yet again y'all know me if I don't have um, a prototype already made out 
And I have found that y'all really don't like that. Y'all like me to kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, this is going to be the center of my signature. I am covering all of my panels right now. And I did decorate this flap. I'm going to cover this. We're going to set some notches. I'm going to ink this part up. And then you're going to see what I'm going to do. This is going to be the signature, uh, center of my signature. It's going to fold over like this. That flap's going to fold over on top of that. So it's going to mimic the outside of it with the flap that closes and it does close. I don't know why it's being finicky at this very moment. It's got a magnet in there and it does close. But anyway, um, this is going to be the center. So it's going to be a booklet inside of a booklet. Yay. Okay. Let's get our circle punch and knock over a few things while we're getting our circle punch. And we're going to make a notch here about halfway and you know I'm not really caring that it's probably not in the dead center I don't care about that and then I'm going to just run some of this same ink over that and I'm good with that I don't have to cover the inside same thing here and I will try to line this up but let's do a little pencil mark. We can do that. Okay, there's an edge. And there is an edge. So now when we line it up here, I know about how deep to go. Whew. Pinched my palm when I did that too. Oh, look at there. Lines up perfectly. Ink both sides. And that just gives us a little extra room to get things in and out of there. See? Okay, and then that flap's going to fold over like that to mimic the outside. And we are going to line this up. We're going to put this in the center like so. Now it's holding. <laughs> I want to put some string on that tag. And then when you open this up, you've got some pages to write on. And then you've got this nice little pocket that we'll have on the inside here. I love that it goes right along with everything, matches everything. We can even put pockets on the inside of it if we want to. Yay! Those handy dandy clips that come in your kit. Perfect for this, holding this in place. When we sew it in, get it lined up on that little half inch spine that we made there. And I'll go ahead and get my foam block and get those holes punched. And of course, look at me being all human. I didn't get it lined up in the center of my spine. And that is disappointing. That kind of makes me mad. But, oh well, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now. I'm not going to fix that. If I try to do something different, the holes will be seen. And I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. So see how irritated I am after I sat and lined it up, lined it up, lined it up. It still didn't line up right on my spine. Oh, well. Not going to worry about it. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Well, I am making a big deal about it, ain't I? Because I'm being mad. I am super duper mad that that did not line up correctly. You know, as horrible as my sewing machine work is, that's what I should have done. I should have just sewed this in because this signature is not that thick. I should have just sewed it in with the sewing machine. Oh well. 
I do, however, with it being off to the side of my spine now like it is, I do have room to add something else in there if I want to. So let's get these clips off. All right, and my magnet holds. Look how beautiful that is. See, I'm off, way off to the side. I mean, it's straight off to the side, but I do have room if I want to, to add something else in there too. So there's that. Then we put that over the top of that and we could um, even do some kind of little magnet closure for this also. How neat would that be? Um, maybe just a couple of the die cuts from the pack and get that done. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do these back to back, ink them up, put my magnet in between them, and then I'm gonna have this little heart here. So when that closes up, it will magnetize to the heart because the magnet's gonna be on the back side of the heart. Okay, there's my heart. It's got a magnet behind it. And here is the other magnet. Okay, so I make sure to place the other magnet on top to make sure of which side I need to put glue on for it to magnetize to it. Okay, I'm going to put it out here and we are going to put glue all over our two little tickets, little die cuts. Okay, if I put it on there like that, okay, I need it to go in a little bit more and I'm going to pick this up with my spatula or try to. There we go. Needs to go in just a little more. And I'm just going to go to the middle of that ticket or pretty close. Sandwich those together. Okay. Then ink it up. I ink the heart before I put it down. Okay, then this is going to be uh, adhered to this flap. And before I do that, so I'm just putting that together to make sure of where that needs to adhere. And then I'm going to get a little piece of score tape and run it along this piece here. So there's my score tape, I'm taking that backing off. And I'm not going to adhere it here first. I'm going to make sure of where it needs to be on that magnet. And then I'm adhering that to the flap. Okay, so that gets everything lined up. It's exactly how I did this one on the outside also. Okay, and then you open it up, you've got your pages for your journal, then you have another booklet, booklet, <laughs> inside of a booklet, and you've got a pocket there, a pocket there, and like I said, you can make pockets on the inside of this also if you wanted to, and then pockets out here. I think what I'm going to do is make some sort of little top tuck right here. So I don't cover up all of that and just tuck something in there. And here I think I will do maybe a little side piece so I'll just have something to tuck in that way so I don't cover up all of that. But that is one of the easiest uh, little slim journals I have ever made with one of the E-Club kits. I'm just saying. Um, this one was particularly easy. Just fold up some uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock and you've got the base of a great journal. And this one is a journal booklet inside of a booklet. 
I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long, but I wanted to cover all of my bases in the very beginning because I knew I'd get questions about um, stuff that's been going on in our life. And I wanted to cover that first and then cover what was new in the shop because y'all are asking about that a lot. And I appreciate it so much. I appreciate that y'all shop with us. Um, we are a small business and it helps us every order helps so we appreciate it so much y'all have a great day i'll see you in the next video god bless bye y'all